Sorry. Thank you for coming to this presentation. I will be speaking about uh, uh, that analysis we made uh, with my colleagues Pierre Aumont and Ludovic Mozan from the Gustave Eiffel University about uh, crowd-sourced acoustic open data. And we used uh, free open source software uh, for geographic tools to do that. So for, uh, as an introduction, uh, traffic noise is a major health concern uh, in, the, in those modern days. Uh, it's estimated by the World Health Institute that one million healthy life years is lost every year in Western Europe. And in France, uh, uh, it's, uh, there is an estimation of 1,047 uh, billion euros lost period. By, uh, this is the social cost of uh, noise in France. And it is estimated by uh, the ADEM, which is an environment, environmental agency. So, noise is a problem. Where can you find the problematic areas? So, there is uh, a solution to measure everything everywhere, but it's not possible. We can't have uh, mics and people everywhere to measure. Uh, so, the traditional way is to simulate. Uh, traffics, uh, air traffics, road traffics, and right traffics, and uh, with the infrastructure, and where is it, and create simulation from that. But it's still simulation, it's not real data. So we, we don't know if it's actually uh, accurate. So the MRE team, uh, which work on acoustic and environmental, uh, create an application called uh, Noise Capture, which is available on Google Play Store to uh, capture the sound environment of your user. So what can we do with the data we collected with the application? So let's talk about a little bit the, about the data set. So it's a this data set is a three years data collection from 2017 to 2020. Uh, it's still collecting. We stopped in 2020 to see if there is a difference with due to COVID uh, restriction. So, uh, uh, but the data collection is still uh, on working. So it's, uh, this data set is 260,000 uh, tracks. A uh, tracks is a, a record of uh, sound spectrum and the GPS localization uh, at the time of the measure. And it also have uh, tags uh, provided by the user. Uh, this data set is an uh, open database, database license, and you can get, get it from uh, this uh, DY uh, URL. So it's in the Gustave Eiffel uh, Dataverse. So how can we characterize the user environment? The question was, we have the data, so how we can characterize the user environment at the moment of the measure? So we have two possibilities, so we can work with the sound spectrum, which is uh, very, we have large data, but it's um, not qualified yet. And we might, might have to use statistical methods, um, maybe machine learning to do that. Or we can use the tags provided by user. Uh, this is quite simple. The tags, uh, we can use uh, statistical software to uh, assess that and get some insight. But the, the opposite, uh, soon spectrum is in all measurements, but the tags are not always present. So for example, we subset the data. Uh, we start with 2,060,000 uh, tracks. Uh, only half of them have uh, tags. So we lost uh, for the second analysis, uh, the tag analysis, we lost half of the, the data set. And we uh, also kept uh, outdoors um, uh, tracks. So we, we remove indoors and test uh, tags. We also uh, removed uh, um, uh, tracks that are shorter than five seconds. So we, we remove mistakes or errors on two short tra tracks. And uh, we worked on metropolitan France area. So it's uh, well, uh, the weather is quite uh, similar. And with the season, we, we want to, to work on the seasonality also. So we, we were, were with uh, 11,000 uh, tracks uh, at the end for, for this analysis. 
uh, let's take uh, a look at the tag repartition. Uh, so I, I, I said uh, noise is a major health issue, issue, but road noise is actually a reality. We can see in the data set, it's almost uh, half of the, the tags are our roads. Uh, we also have tags about chatting, wind, animals, works, footsteps, air traffic, and so on. You have 16 uh, tags, dif different tags. Not all uh, they are present in, in, in this subset. What toolkit did, did we use? Uh, we use a quite simple one, a PostgreSQL Postgres database, because um, the, the original data is provided as a Postgres PostgreSQL dump. So I had to recreate uh, a database and load the data in, in, so, in that. So, and we, I use this environment to pre-filter the data. So uh, I filter the tags, I filter the duration, I filter also um, uh, the, the area. And I use R uh, for, uh, we, we, we use R uh, for the uh, analysis of the tags. So this can this might be look simple, maybe two tools, PostJS and R, but actually it's not very simple and it will really provide some um, issues later on. So because we use a lot of R packages, so we use the tidyverse. It's already a meta packages from several packages. We use uh, SF, uses an SF, stats, sun calc for uh, uh, sunset and sunrise cal calculation. So uh, the complexity is hidden by uh, the R uh, packages. Let's talk about the result we get. Uh, we uh, had two axes of study. The well-known uh, well temporal sound source dynamics. Um, and the other one was uh, to assess uh, physical event in the user environment. So for example, we looked at uh, the repartition of uh, animal dogs around sunrise times. So on, on these graphics, uh, on the, all the graphics I will be showing you, uh, the y-axis will be uh, the tag proportion of that partic particular, the proportion of that tag amongst all of our tags at that time of the day for the whole, um, the whole uh, comparison. For the whole data set. And uh, for this uh, graph in particular, it's uh, the time around the day, uh, uh, the time around the sunrise. So in the middle, there is a zero, it's a sunrise time at the day of the measurement. And uh, on the left side, it's uh, the time before, and on the right side, it's the time after the sunrise. And we can see that there is a peak a few hours, um, a couple of hours before sunrise in uh, the animal tag uh, in the data set. And we can correlate, not really correlate, but we can link that to uh, a study on uh, birds' behavior and especially bird songs. And it's well known in uh, acoustic uh, that birds uh, sing around sunrise more than uh, later in the day. The uh, other uh, dynamic we looked at was um, the repartition uh, proportion of tags about road. Uh, and this is in local time. And we can see there is a peak in the morning around 7 and 8 in the morning and in the evening between 6 to uh, 8 uh, p.m. And this is, can be uh, related to uh, commuting. So those road noise we, we see is mostly commuting people in the morning to, to their workplace and back uh, in the evening. But uh, we, as I said, we can maybe say, oh, it, it's probably this and it's probably that, but we don't have a direct link to, uh, to this. It's theoretical. So we looked, uh, actually it was Ludovic who, who worked on that part, to uh, relate uh, tags with phys physical events in the user environment. And we look to uh, me meteorological data from the meteorological services in France. Uh, and we look to uh, about wine. So in the 
x axis it's the buffer scale so the buffer scale is uh, uh, scale uh, where the highest number the highest the stronger is the win so on the right side it's a stronger win and we have a, a very strong correlation between the win tag proportion and the measure uh, win force with a 0.9 uh, correlation so this is working when when there is a lot of win we have more uh, tax win tax. Uh, it's not working as well with uh, the rain. Uh, we don't know why, but uh, we have just a, a correlation of 0 0.6 um, between the rain tag and the measure rainfall. Uh, it might be uh, a coverage by over uh, when the, there is not enough strong, just little um, rain falls. Maybe it's covered by other noise, or uh, the user doesn't think to uh, to use that tag, or maybe it's uh, it's due to uh, the fact that uh, the weather condition may be different from the weather station to the uh, user, because we find the the, the, hmm, the mean distance between the user. And the nearest uh, weather station is 16 kilometers. So locally, maybe uh, the rainfall might be different. But uh, we can still use it to assess if there is rain or no rain. It's still working for this uh, use case. So um, my challenge when I started this, uh, this um, project was to make it repo as reproducible as I can. Because reproductible uh, science is an issue, so in this case uh, it's good because we are the data is are available. I get it. I set up my uh, database and it's it's working. Uh, we made the source code available. We can find the SQL script to make the view we uh, create to filter the data. You can have access to the uh, R notebook. Uh, we, we create to uh, make the data analysis or the graphics and even the um the article the setup is provided but uh not is very good because we have some notebooks that are very big we try to make it uh, a little bit uh, in several parts and it's not uh fully reproducible uh, yet and we need to do some code refactoring and environment info is very too scarce now so it's hard to reproduce the environment I use at the moment, the computer environment I use at the moment too. So uh, I have some ideas to mitigate that. Uh, I can use maybe the R package called RAMV, which can store uh, a description, a precise description of the environment you use and rebuild it. Uh, but it's work only for R. So I have this issue that to have a POSGIS database. So it doesn't work properly for, for this use case. Maybe I can be using Docker. So I can have a Docker image with my POSGIS database and store the data in there and have uh, maybe another Docker image to assess the data and product uh, result. And if you work uh, way, uh, the thing with Docker, it's rely on um, on your computer and it's not really uh, you have some libraries that are sh shared so not uh, everything is reproducible with uh, Docker and the last piece is uh, the last uh, avenue of integration is GUIX which is um, it's not a Linux distribution it's something you install on your Linux distribution and you can pinpoint uh, software and version and make it really reproducible more than docker so it's the way to go i think but i, I need to work on it to conclude that uh cold source data is useful for science we can find in the data set non-phenomena so we, it's good quality we have still a lot of things to study in this data set so we will be happy to if you want to try it take it and uh, find things in that, and we will be very happy to hear back about it. About it. Uh, free open source software are not uh, only useful for the industry and science, but it's key for reproducible science. 
I don't think, I don't, I personally don't think that we can do reproducible science with properties of FOA because there is always, always someone that can't afford uh, properties of FOA. And reproducible science is hard to achieve, very hard to achieve, and it has, has to take in account uh, as soon as possible in a project. Thank you very much.